G'day, today I want to talk to you about the pros and cons of a battle axe block. And if you don't know what that is, that's a block that's sort of set back and surrounded by other blocks. It could be a street that goes around as an angle and use a long driveway down to a block behind the other blocks. Now the question is, are there any pros to start with? I mean, what are the pros if there are any? Well, generally speaking, if you're looking at a new housing estate or an older one, those blocks are usually priced a little bit cheaper than the other blocks, okay? That's the first pro. So you can go, if you're looking at a new house and say a new house and land package, you've got the houses along the street frontage and they're a set price and then the battle axe down the back is usually a different price to the ones at the front of the street, usually less. The second pro is that they're usually a larger block. Not always, but they can be a larger block because it's kind of like the leftover land cut up from all the other sort of cutting up of the land that's done in the area. The third thing is that they're usually the left to last, right? So you can kind of negotiate and once again, helping on the price. But with that in mind on a new estate, and especially on an existing sort of infill block, you are looking at, because they're left to the last minute, the fencing and stuff like that's usually done. And usually your driveway's mostly done because a developer has to put that easement driveway a long ways down into the block. So you can save money on fencing and even partially your driveway and all that sort of thing. So there's the pros. Of course, the cons are sometimes just the reverse of that. When you come to sell that house, you paid less for the, the block of land, you wouldn't pay any less to build the property on it, but that property has that stigma of being a battle axe block and you will expect to get less for it than something that is in a better position. That's probably one of the main cons. The other thing that you should remember if you are looking for a battle axe block for investment is that it doesn't take any difference in rent, right? It, it is the same rental on that property or another property on the front of the street. If you're looking at these type of blocks, they're not a no, just make sure you get them at the right price and know that whatever the terms and conditions are when you go into it are the same ones that someone else is gonna buy from you when you come to sell it. I'm Scotty North and this is Two Minutes Tops.